We are going to define logarithms now, and the way we're going to do that is we're going to start with the function f of x equals 2 to the x, an exponential function with a base of 2. Well, if we do this and we build up our chart, we can have minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3. And f of x gives us 2 to the minus 3rd is 1 8th, 2 to the minus 2 is 1 4th, 2 to the minus 1 is 1 half, 2 to the 0 is 1, 2 to the 1 is 2, 2 squared is 4, and 2 cubed is 8. This gives us the points 1 over, oops, minus 3, 1 over 8, minus 2, 1 over 4, minus 1, 1 half, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, 4, and 3, 8. And again, remember, to find the inverse, all we need to do is take our list of points and reverse them. So this becomes 1 8th minus 3, 1 4th minus 2, 1 half minus 1, 1 0, 2 1, 4 2, and 8 3. And so this gives us our input and output pairs for the inverse of f of x equals 2 to the x. So here's a graph with those points on it. So notice here's our exponential points and here's its inverse points. We call these inverse points logarithms. The logarithm is the inverse of the exponential. And so the most important thing to know about this is that if we say an output is equal to log base a of x, notice that a, that's the same as the base a for our exponentials and follows the same rules, then this is true or is the same as or is equivalent to x equals a to the y. In other words, y is the power we raise the base to to get x. But this only works if a is greater than 0 and a does not equal 1. And this right here, what we're looking at right here, is the most important thing to know about logarithms.